Namaste and welcome to Flutter AppWrite tutorial series. This is not the part 5 but this is the correction in part 4. So I'm very glad that one of our viewer Ruby Natsarya pointed this out to me. I missed one of the step in the connection between AppWrite and Flutter application. So many of you might be getting 403 permission error. So in order to fix this, we need to do one simple step. That is what I'll be showing in this video. So this is just an addition to our episode four. If you remember in part four, we connected our Flutter application to the AppWrite server using AppWrite's package, AppWrite's Flutter package. And we are able to log the user in, create new user account, or check whether or not the user is already logged in. Many of you might be getting permission error because of one simple step that was missed in the tutorial. So I'm going to fix that. Log into your AppWrite console. Okay. Once you log in, you can choose the project that you have created. For me, this Flutter AppWrite. Once you are in the project, what you need to do is you need to add platform. So this was the step that was missed. So add platform and here we are adding new Flutter app. And if you are testing on iOS, use iOS. If you are testing on Android like me, use Android. So name, you can provide any name. I'm giving Flutter app right app. And the package name is the package name that is used in our project. So you can find that in Android app build.gradle down here. It is called application ID. So you can just copy this application ID and paste it here. If you are on iOS, if you open your project with, um, Xcode, your iOS folder in Flutter project with Xcode, you can find the bundle identifier, but it must be same as it is provided in the Android build.gradle. So you can use the same even if you are using iOS. So once you put the name and the package name, click register. So now you have connected your Flutter app successfully. What this does is any request coming from this application with this application ID, Flutter application with this application ID will be a verified request and you no longer get 403 error or permission error. Thank you everyone for watching this video and thank you Rubin for pointing out this error so that I could make this fix.